The Crimean Karaites or Krimkarailer, Crimean Karaim, Krimkarajler, Krimkarailer SG, Karaj Kare, Trakai Karaim, SG. Karaj, place. Karajlar, Hebrew, Kri Mazur Urf Turkish, Karailer, also known as Karaims and Kares, are an ethnic group derived from Turkic speaking adherents of Karaiti Judaism in Central and Eastern Europe, especially in the territory of the former Russian Empire. Karaim is a Russian, Ukrainian, Lithuanian, and Polish name for the community. Origins <inaudible> <inaudible> Turkic-speaking Karaites in the Crimean Tatar language Karailer have lived in Crimea for centuries. Their origin is a matter of great controversy. Some regard them as descendants of Karaiti Jews who settled in Crimea and adopted a form of the Kipchak tongue see Karaim language. Others view them as descendants of Hazar or Cuman, Kipchak converts to Karaiti Judaism. Today many Crimean Karaites deny ethnic Semitic origins and identify as descendants of the Khazars. Some specialists in Hazar history question the Hazar theory of Karaim origins, noting the following The Karaim language belongs to the Kipchak linguistic group, and the Hazar language belongs to the Bulgar group. There is no close relationship between these two Turkic languages. According to the Hazar correspondence, Hazar Judaism was, most likely, Talmudic. The tradition of Karaiti Judaism ranks only the Tanakh as a holy book and does not recognize the Talmud. Khazars disappeared in the 11th century. But, the first written mention of the Crimean Karaites was in the 14th century. Anthropologic researches show similarity between Crimean Karaites of Lithuania and Egyptian Karaiti Jews. In 19th century Crimea, Karaites began to distinguish themselves from other Jewish groups, sending envoys to the Tsars to plead for exemptions from harsh anti Jewish legislation. These entreaties were successful, in large part due to the Tsar's wariness of the Talmud, and in 1863 Karaites were granted the same rights as their Christian and Tatar neighbors. Exempted from the Pale of Settlement, later they were considered non-Jews by Nazis. This left the community untouched by Holocaust. Unlike other Turkic-speaking Jews, like the Krimchik Jews that were almost wiped out, modern Karaim resist being identified as Jews, emphasizing their Turkic heritage and claiming they are Turkic practitioners of a Mosaic religion, separate and distinct from Judaism. Miller says that Crimean Karaites did not start claiming a distinct identity apart from the Jewish people before the 19th century, and that such leaders as Avraham Furkovich and Sima Babovich encouraged this position to avoid the strong antisemitism of the period. From the time of the Golden Horde onward, Karaites were present in many towns and villages throughout Crimea and around the Black Sea. During the period of the Crimean Khanate, they had major communities in the towns of Kufit Kale, Sudak, Kefe, and Bakshisare. Topic: History. Topic: Topic: Middle Ages. Topic. According to most opinions, the upper stratum of the Hazar society converted to Judaism in the 8th-9th centuries CE. The extent of this conversion and its scope is not known. With the collapse of the Hazar Khanate, a group of the Khazars who took part in a failed rebellion, joined the Magyars in the invasion of Hungary, they settled there at the end of the 9th century CE. An archaeological relic of this Hazar settlement was discovered in Transylvania today Romania in the 20th century. Known as the Alsashent Mihai Rova's inscription, it was transcribed by the archaeologist historian Gabor Vekani. According to the transcription, the two row inscription means the following First row, his mansion is famous. Second row, Wadi Kur Karaiti. Or, Wadi Kur the Karaiti. Scholars take this as evidence that at least a part of the Khazars were Karaites. See inscription in Khazarian Rova's script. Topic. Grand Duchy of Lithuania and Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth Topic. According to Karaiti tradition, Grand Duke Vytautas of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania relocated one branch of the Crimean Karaites to Lithuania. There they continued to speak their own language. But the Lithuanian dialect of the Karaim language differs significantly from the Crimean one. The Lithuanian Karaites settled primarily in Vilnius and Trakai, as well as in Berzai, Pasvelis, Naujamistis and Upite smaller settlements throughout Lithuania proper. 
The Lithuanian Karaites also settled in lands of modern Belarus and Ukraine, which were part of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. The Karaiti communities emerged in Halas and Kokizau near Lwau in Galicia, as well as in Luk and Dirajny in Volhynia. Jews rabbinates and Karaites in Lithuanian territory were granted a measure of autonomy under Michel Ezefovich Sr.'s management. The Trakai Karaim refused to comply, citing differences in faith. Later all Jews, including Karaites, were submitted to Rabbinite Council of Four Lands Vod and Council of the Land of Lithuania Taxation 1580 The Yiddish-speaking Rabbinites considered the Turkic-speaking Karaites to be apostates, and kept them in a subordinate and depressed position. The Karaites resented this treatment. In 1646 the Karaites gained expulsion of the Rabbinites from Trakai. Despite such tensions, in 1680 Rabbinite community leaders defended the Karaites of Shati near Trakai against blood accusation. Representatives of both groups signed an agreement in 1714 to respect the mutual privileges and resolve disputes without involving the Gentile administration. According to Crimean Karaiti tradition, which developed in the 20th century inter war Poland, their forefathers were mainly farmers and members of the community who served in the military forces of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania and the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, as well as in the Crimean Khanate. But according to the historical documents of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, the chief occupation of the Crimean Karaites was usury. They were granted special privileges, including exemption from the military service. In the Crimean Khanate, the Karaites were repressed like other Jews, with prohibitions on behavior extended to riding horses. Some famous Karaim scholars in Lithuania included Isaac B. Abraham of Troki (1543–1598), Joseph ben Mordecai Malinovsky, Zara ben Nathan of Trakai, Solomon ben Aharon of Trakai, Ezra ben Nisan (died in 1666), and Josiah ben Judah (died after 1658). Some of the Karaim became quite wealthy. During the times of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, the Karaim suffered severely during the Chmielniki Uprising of 1648 and the wars between Russia and Commonwealth in the years 1654–1667. The many towns plundered and burnt included Dirajny and Trakai, where only 30 families were left in 1680. The destruction of the Karaiti community in Dirajny in 1649 is described in a poem both in Hebrew and Karaim language by a leader of the congregation, Hazan Joseph ben Yeshua ha Mashbir. Catholic missionaries worked to convert the local Karaim to Christianity, but were largely unsuccessful. <laughs> <laughs> Russian Empire Nineteenth-century leaders of the Karaim, such as Sima Babovich and Avraham Furkovich, were driving forces behind a concerted effort to alter the status of the Karaiti community in eyes of the Russian legal system. Furkovich in particular was adamant in his attempts to connect the Karaim with the Khazars, and has been accused of forging documents and inscriptions to back up his claims. Ultimately, the Tsarist government officially recognized the Karaim as being innocent of the death of Jesus, so they were exempt from many of the harsh restrictions placed on other Jews. They were, in essence, placed on equal legal footing with Crimean Tatars. The related Krimchik community, which was of similar ethnolinguistic background but which practiced rabbinical Judaism, continued to suffer under Tsarist anti-Jewish laws. Solomon Krim 1864 a Crimean Karaiti agronomist, was elected in 1906 to the First Duma 1906-1907 as a cadet National Democratic Party. On November 16, 1918 he became the prime minister of a short-lived Crimean Russian liberal, anti-separatist and anti-Soviet government also supported by the German army, since the incorporation of Crimea into the Russian Empire the main center of the Kares is the city of Yepatoria. Their status under Russian imperial rule bore beneficial fruits for the Karaites decades later. <laughs> During the Holocaust In 1934, the heads of the Karaiti community in Berlin asked the Nazi authorities to exempt Karaites from the anti-Semitic regulations based on their legal status as Russians in Russia. The Reich Agency for the Investigation of Families determined that, from the standpoint of German law, the Karaites were not to be considered Jews. The letter from the Reichsstelfer Sippenverschung officially ruled, 
The Karaite sect should not be considered a Jewish religious community within the meaning of paragraph 2.2 of the first regulation to the Reich citizenship law. However, it cannot be established that Karaites in their entirety are of blood-related stock, for the racial categorization of an individual cannot be determined without, his personal ancestry and racial biological characteristics. This ruling set the tone for how the Nazis dealt with the Karaite community in Eastern Europe. At the same time, the Nazis had serious reservations about the Karaites. SS Obergruppenführer Gottlob Berger wrote on November 24, 1944. Their mosaic religion is unwelcome. However, on grounds of race, language and religious dogma. Discrimination against the Karaites is unacceptable, in consideration of their racial kinsmen Berger was here referring to the Crimean Tatars. However, so as not to infringe the unified anti-Jewish orientation of the nations led by Germany, it is suggested that this small group be given the opportunity of a separate existence for example, as a closed construction or labor battalion." Despite having exempt status, groups of Karaites were massacred in the early phases of the war. German soldiers who came across Karaites in Russia during the invasion of Operation Barbarossa, unaware of their legal status under German law, attacked them. 200 were killed at Babi Yar alone. German allies such as Vichy France began to require the Karaites to register as Jews, but eventually granted them non Jewish status after getting orders by Berlin. When interrogated, Ashkenazi rabbis in Crimea told the Germans that Karaites were not Jews, in an effort to spare the Karaiti community the fate of their rabbinite neighbors. Many Karaites risked their lives to hide Jews, and in some cases claimed that Jews were members of their community. The Nazis impressed many Karaites into labor battalions. In Vilnius and Trakai, the Nazis forced Karaiti Hakim Saraya Shapshal to produce a list of the members of the community. Though he did his best, not every Karaiti was saved by Shapshal's list. Post-war. After the Soviet recapture of Crimea from Nazi forces in 1944, the Soviet authorities counted 6,357 remaining Karaites. Karaites were not subject to mass deportation, unlike the Crimean Tatars, Greeks, Armenians and others the Soviet authorities alleged had collaborated during the Nazi-German occupation. Some individual Karaites were deported. Assimilation and emigration greatly reduced the ranks of the Karaiti community. A few thousand Karaites remain in Lithuania, Belarus, Ukraine, Russia and Poland. Other minor communities exist in Israel, Turkey, the United States, and Great Britain. In the 1990s, about 500 Crimean Karaites, mainly from Ukraine, emigrated to Israel under the law of return. The Israeli chief rabbinate has ruled that Karaites are Jews under Jewish law. <laughs> Geographic distribution. Topic. The name, Crimean Karaites, has often been considered as something of a misnomer, as many branches of this community found their way to locations throughout Europe. As time went on, some of these communities spread throughout the region, including to Crimea. According to Karaiti tradition, all the Eastern European Karaiti communities were derived from those in the Crimea, but some modern historians doubt the Crimean origin of Lithuanian Karaites. Nevertheless, this name, Crimean Karaites is used for the Turkic-speaking Karaites community supposed to have originated in Crimea, distinguishing it from the historically Aramaic, Hebrew, and Arabic-speaking Karaites of the Levant, Anatolia, and the Middle East. For the purposes of this article, the terms Crimean Karaites, Karaim, and Kares are used interchangeably, while Karaites alone refers to the general Karaiti branch of Judaism. Topic. Lithuania Topic. The local Karaim communities still exist in Lithuania where they live mostly in Panavezis and Trakai regions and Poland. The 1979 census in the USSR showed 3,300 Karaim. Lithuanian Karaim culture community was founded in 1988. According to the Lithuanian Karaim website the Statistics Department of Lithuania carried out an ethno-statistic research entitled, Karaim in Lithuania, in 1997. 
It was decided to question all adult Karaim and mixed families, where one of the members is a Karaim. During the survey, for the beginning of 1997, there were 257 people of Karaim nationality, 32 of whom were children under 16. Religion until the 20th century, Karaiti Judaism was the only religion of the Karaim. During the Russian Civil War, a significant number of Karaim emigrated to Yugoslavia, Czechoslovakia, Poland, and Hungary, and then France and Germany. Most of them converted to Christianity. The Karim's modern national movement philanthropist M.S. Sirach was one of them. The Crimean Karaiti's emancipation in the Russian Empire caused cultural assimilation followed by secularization. This process continued in the USSR when most of the Kinesis were closed. In 1928 secular Karaim philologist Saraya Shapshal was elected as Hatchim of Polish and Lithuanian Karaim. Being a strong adopter of Russian Orientalist V. Grigorjev's theory about the Khazarian origin of the Crimean Karaites, Shapshal developed the Karaim. S. Religion and Historical Dejudization Doctrine In the mid 1930s, he began to create a theory describing the Altai Turkic origin of the Karaim and the pagan roots of Karaiti religious teaching, worship of sacred oaks, polytheism, led by the god Tengri, the sacrifice. Shapshal's doctrine is still a topic of critical research and public debate. He made a number of other changes aimed at the Karim's Turkification and at erasing the Karaiti Jewish elements of their culture and language. He issued an order cancelling the teaching of Hebrew in Karaiti schools and replaced the names of the Jewish holidays and months with Turkic equivalents see the table below. According to Shapshal, Crimean Karaites were pagans who adopted the Law of Moses, but continued to adhere to their ancient Turkic beliefs. In addition, he claimed that the Karaites had revered Jesus and Muhammad as prophets for centuries. In the post-Soviet period, Shapshal S theory was further developed in modern Karaylar publications e.g. Crimean Karaites legends and was officially adopted by the Crimean Karaim Association Krimkarailer Associatia Krimska Karimov Krimkarajlar as the only correct view of the Karaim S past and the present in 2000 Topic <laughs> Evolution of Crimean Karaiti holiday names in the 20th century Topic. Topic. Genetics Topic. Leon Cull and Kevin Allen Brook led the first scientific study of Crimean karyotes using genetic testing of both Y-chromosomal DNA and mitochondrial DNA and the results showed that Crimean karyotes are indeed partially of Middle Eastern origin and related to the descendants of rabbinic Jews. Culture Language Karaim is a Kipchak Turkic language being closely related to Crimean Tatar, Armino Kipchak, etc. Among the many different influences exerted on Karaim, those of Arabic, Hebrew, and Persian were the first to change the outlook of the Karaim lexicon. Later, due to considerable Polish, Russian, and Ukrainian influence, many Slavic and Baltic words entered the language of Polish, Lithuanian, Ukrainian, and Russian Karaim. Hebrew remained in use for liturgical purposes. Following the Ottoman occupation of Crimea, Turkish was used for business and government purposes among Karaim living on the Crimean Peninsula. Three different dialects developed, the Trakai dialect, used in Trakai and Vilnius Lithuania, the Lutske or Halic dialect spoken in Lutske until World War II, and Halic, and the Crimean dialect. The last forms the eastern group, while Trakai and Halic Karaim belong to the western group. Currently only small minority of Karaim can speak the Karaim language 72 Crimean dialect speakers, 118 Trakai dialect speakers, and about 20 Halic dialect speakers. Topic. Cuisine Topic. The most famous Crimean Karaiti food is Kaiban Russian, Kabina Place. Kabini Karaim, Kaiban Place. Kabinlar, Lithuanian, Kabinai. Kabinlar are half-moon-shaped pies of leavened dough with a stuffing of chopped beef or mutton, baked in Dutch oven or baking sheet. 
Other meals common for Crimean Karaites and Tatars are chibareki, pelmeni, shishlik these are most often made from mutton. Ceremony dishes, cooked for religious holidays and weddings are, timbalas pesok round cakes flat of unleavened dough, kneaded with cream and butter or butter and eggs, reflected in the modern name of this festival timbal chidzi, katlama is shavuot aftalar chidzi cottage cheese pie, which seven layers symbolizing seven weeks after Pesach, four layers of yeast dough, three of pot cheese, wedding pies are kiovliak on the part of the groom and kelinlik on the part of the bride. Topic see also topic Benjamin Aga Turkish Jews Kaisers topic References topic topic Bibliography topic Ben Tzvi, Yitzhak. The Exiled and the Redeemed. Philadelphia, Jewish Publication Society, 1957. Blady, Ken. Jewish Communities in Exotic Places. Northvale, N.J., Jason Aronson Inc., 2000. pp. 115-130. Brooke, Kevin Allen. The Jews of Kazaria, 2nd ed. Roman and Littlefield Publishers, Inc., 2006. Friedman, Philip. The Karaites Under Nazi Rule. On the Tracks of Tyranny. London, 1960. Green, W.P. Nazi Racial Policy Towards the Karaites, Soviet Jewish Affairs 8, 2, 1978, pp. 36-44 Golden, Peter B. 2007a. Hazar Studies, Achievements and Perspectives. In Golden, Peter B., Ben Shemai, Haggai, Rona T.A.'s, Andras. The World of the Kaisers, New Perspectives. Handbook of Oriental Studies, 17. Brill. pp. 7-57. ISBN 978-9-004-16042-2. Retrieved February 13, 2013. Karaiti Judaism, Introduction to Karaiti Studies. Edited by M. Pauliak. Leiden, Brill Publishers, 2004, 657-708. Kizilov, Mikhail. Karaites Through the Traveler's Eyes, Ethnic History, Traditional Culture and Everyday Life of the Crimean Karaites According to the Descriptions of the Travelers. Kirkisani Center, 2003. Kizilov, Mikhail. Faithful Unto Death, Language, Tradition, and the Disappearance of the East European Karaiti Communities, East European Jewish Affairs 36-1, 2006, 73-93. Krimsky Karemi, Istorycheskaya Territoria, Etnokultura. Edited by V.S. Kropotov, V.U. Ormeli, A.U. Pokanova. Simferpol, Dolia, 2005 Miller, Philip. Karaiti Separatism in 19th Century Russia. HUC Press, 1993. Semi, Emanuela T. The Image of the Karaites in Nazi and Vichy France Documents, Jewish Journal of Sociology 33-2 December 1990. pp. 81-94. Shapira, Dan. Remarks on Avraham Furkovich and the Hebrew Megellus document, Acta Orientalia Academiae Scientiarum Hungaricae 59-2 131-180. Shapira, Dan. A Jewish Pan-Turkist, Saraya Shapsal and his work, Kiram Karater Clary, Acta Orientalia Academiae Scientiarum Hungaricae 58-4 349-380. Shapira, Dan. Avraham Furkovich in Istanbul 1830-1832. Paving the Way for Turkic Nationalism. Ankara, Karam, 2003. Shapshal, S. M., Karemi SSSR v. Otanashini Etnicheskim, Karemi na Slujbi u Krimskich Chanov. Simferopol, 2004 Zajachkowski, Ananiash. Karems in Poland, History, Language, Folklore, Science. Panistwa Wydon, 1961. Topic external links Topic Official site of the Crimean Karaites http colon slash slash www.cessnor.org slash 2003 slash vil 2003 underscore kizilov dot htm http colon slash slash www.berkovich dash zametki dot com slash nomer 35 slash m and 55 dot htm http colon slash slash www.berkovich dash zametki dot com slash nomer 41 slash Kizilov 1. HTM Karame website Signs of new life in Karame communities Karaites in the Holocaust Website of Lithuanian Karames Karaite Library Online The origin of the European Karaites in the books and texts of Karaite Hakams